to check it out. Welcome back to the cruise reviews. Tonight we got some pretty cool shit to do. Starting off with the beer bongs. So we got Tom Boy. Sure we got special guest tonight, Mr. Cameron Montgomery. Check him out. Uh, he's actually a local artist around these parts. Tonight we have two things to go over. We have this sake, which we'll be doing sake bombs. And in the spirit of 80s martial arts film, we will be breaking some boards. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, tonight we got some, uh, some more of a slight karate theme. First off, King Cobra Kai over here, and King Miyagi Do over there. Uh, we got a, a great movie up here. Tommy, tell them all about what's the, what they're looking at there. That is John claude Van Damme and Kickboxer. It inspired me to train in the backyard as a kid, taking mom's plastic trees. Good flick. You enjoy a uh, '80s martial arts film. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of a karate theme. We're gonna we're gonna break some shit tonight, do some drinking. We got a little beer review up here. We're gonna try all this shit out like we normally do, and uh, let you know how it is. Yes, we have a Sapporo's Japanese style beer, and we have this filthy McNasty. Uh, Russian Imperial. It uh, it looks rough. Shout out to the 30 35. Oh, we're 30, up to 35 subscribers. 35 subscribes. Man, that's kind of groovy. <laughs> it's kind of groovy, man. So, if any of you all out there have any experience breaking boards, if you could leave a comment or some suggestions, yeah. let us know. We have, um, we picked up a little board from the Home Depot, yeah. and we cut it up, and we're gonna, we're gonna break it. We got some boards to break. Well, alright, so we're gonna get into the reviews real quick. So we're gonna start it with, uh, some, uh, Funky Nasty. We're gonna try out this Funky, funky Nasty. Nasty. Oh, Funky Nick, Mc Filthy McNasty, my bad. Russian Imperial Beer. That can look sort of north north high Ohio. It looks slightly intimidating. It does look slightly intimidating. But it's nine percent per can, so I imagine buying a six pack of these and trying to smash all six would probably get you pretty fucked up. Probably not a good idea. Oh man, it is fucking dark yeah, too. That's dark. That's oil. That's fucking oil, dude. <laughs> yeah, <it's smelling. laughs> that is fucking that was, it tastes pretty that good. That is oil. Yeah, yeah, oh man, yeah, this smells fucking. I don't like the way it smells. I don't like the way it looks. I don't like anything about it so far. I mean, I'm hoping the taste is good, but ready? Cheers, boys. Cheers. Wow, it's not bad. As I was gonna say, surprisingly, it's not bad. That's the weirdest. Tastes like coffee. No, no, oh, I taste coffee, but it it tastes like coffee bean, but it don't taste heavy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the aftertaste, the yeah, aftertaste yeah. isn't that great, so you gotta keep like, like drinking it. The no, no, aftertaste. I, I, yeah, I went down fast. I wasn't fucking around with that. So check it out. It was a uh, North High Brewing Co. I oh, believe yeah. local here in Ohio. Yes. And uh, you can pick it up at your local Kroger's for fifteen dollars per six pack. A little, a little pricey, but it's also nine percent per can, so. We You're looking less, to get fucking fucked up quick. It. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to say you can probably do three. You, you know, you can buy this six pack and try to make it last, you know, two nights. But around people like us, that won't happen. So Next. <laughs> so that being said, it's we're going to move on so. to right. Tommy. We picked this Sapporo's up because it's a... Uh, you're supposed to use it with the sake bomb, but we're going to go ahead and do a review on it anyways. We got more to use with the sake bombs coming up here shortly. So we're going to give this... Sapporo premium. premium beer. It's a uh, popular in Japan. Supposedly, I don't know. Yeah. Excited about it? Yeah. I'm sure we probably. It says, it says it's popular in Japan, but you get to Japan, and you'll be like, "What's that?" Yeah, I was gonna say we probably got the cheap, cheap got shit from American Japan. You know, version. yeah. It's like so. It's been it's, it's been retagged and capped and all that shit. Yeah, they do. So okay. this. I like the Is the Sapporo got a good color to it? 
Actually, it's colored like beer. It smells like beer. It smells like beer. Looks like beer. Smells like beer. Must be beer. It must be beer. It's it's colored colored it's 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 kind of tastes like a Modelo. Yep. Modelo. Like a light Modelo. Yeah. I like it. Don't taste very it's really Japanesey. But it's refreshing. The aftertaste. I don't like that. You don't like that? No, I don't like no? that. No? Really? Yeah, no, really. That's cool. So, yeah. if you're wondering what we got in these little fancy glasses here, we didn't bring the bottle down for the shit with us, but we've got some Svetka vodka and some strawberry... Strawberry... Rock. with strawberry rock star. <laughs> got it right that time. All right. And, and vodka job. mix. Which is like the perfect strawberry daiquiri. It is. It's very strawberry. You can sneak a couple of beats with a little uh, battery powered blender and you can just go to town. Fucking make your strawberry daiquiri on the beach. Go get in the you, water. Yeah, if, if, if this is, this is definitely a beach. You know, if you love if you, anything fruity on the beach, if you, any daiquiri shit. Fucking very sunshine, good. toes in the sand. And you can almost do it with any vodka because vodka tastes like vodka, whether it's gas station vodka or, or high dollar vodka. It all tastes like fucking alcohol. Or you could get a but little it just fancy has a little and go with the fruitier alcohol flavored ones. It's higher dollars, so it's not as harsh, but just as good. But this is Svedka, which was like, I think we picked up a little mini bottle for like, like six bucks. I think it was only like three or four dollars. Yeah. It was it was right it's, it's, but it's, it was small, so, but yeah, it's, it's Svedka is the way to go. And some uh, whipped. Whipped strawberry rock star. We're going to uh, we're going to switch up here. We're going to get this. Last time I believe I brought over the uh, Sour Patch Kids energy drink by Ghost. We don't really understand the whole Ghost uh, concept here behind it. The title, the brand of the energy, but they do make uh, Sour Patch Kids and Warhead. So yeah, yeah, yeah no, that's, that's what I was what, thinking. I mean, that's yeah. what the first fucking yeah. thing that comes to mind. But the Ghost is a little cooler. So uh, this is actually a uh, sour watermelon energy drink that you can get at Kroger, where we got everything else here tonight. Wow, dude, I can smell the sourness just from opening the can, man. That's not Can't break Jesus. It. And it's clear. Look at that. It's going to be red. So we got, the, again, Warheads uh, edition of the Ghost Energy tonight. We're going to check this out. Here, two elbows. Here, use your hands. smell it. Sour watermelon. Yeah, that one too is there, homeboy. I like it. Can you not I see? I know, I can't yeah. see the teeth things on. Smell that shit. It smells like candy. It smells delicious. Oh, I want to drink the whole thing. <laughs> Wait, I mean, you're going to drink the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> it smells so good. <laughs> right? All right, I'm going for it. It smells so good, man. It does smell really good, though. Ooh, that's sour. Yeah, that is pretty sour. Uh, you get that like fruit punchy kind of thing with a watermelon that's yeah. sour. It's like oh, good. Good. yeah, it's like it's sour, sweet, and sour. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> it's like drinking a watermelon. Stick. I would totally put my dick in that. I like this you is really really good stuff, man. Good. Yeah. So check it out. This is absolutely and and I'm not sure it might have sugar in it. I could be wrong. It absolutely does. No, well, it's got it's only got five calories. So probably doesn't have sugar. It's used with no, sweetener. It's got no sugar. Yeah. What zero a, gram that's sugar. The ghost. Is there it yeah, is, baby. We figured it out. <laughs> so here's, 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 no sugar. Here's, here's the thing. We, we've we've actually we've out. actually Big managed dreams. to find Big a dog. game. Big, Big dreams, baby. What? <laughs> 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 we managed to find an energy drink that actually don't have that fucked up energy kick with all of the bullshit sugar in it. Right? It's called Ghost, and it tastes like fucking Sour Patch Kids. They have the Sour Patch brands. And the Warheads brands, and they are both so far from what we've had, both absolutely worth it. And I believe that I this was like two dollars with some change from Kroger, of course. Like I said, absolutely worth checking out if you're into energy because I used to like energy a lot. And it started tasting like ass, like butt juice, energy which is okay. Yes, yeah, energy, well, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Energy. Like, where the fuck we, we did? Need energy to play <laughs> boards and have socky bombs. Oh, so yeah, so the like energy is... drinks, go for Ghost, man. Definitely worth it. Uh, you guys will see his face eventually at some other time, uh, period, uh, in the near future. Yes, we gotta do a music video. Oh, yeah. We're gonna do a music video. We're gonna let Mr. Cam Montgomery over here do oh, it. Yeah. So now we're gonna move on to the sake, but what we're gonna do, we got some, obviously, sake okay, bombs man, intended in mind, but we're gonna try this out uh, straight to see what the difference is between the sake bombs and the regular sake. Shochiku bai. Shochiku bai. <laughs> 
That's what it sounds premium like. I mean, that's what it looks like. It's called Premium Premium Jinjo Shaki. It's in a cool little bottle. Where you Jinjo. See that? With a pretty pink flower on the cup. I mean, the cup. The bottle. <laughs> it's a nice, smooth bottle. Now that they say Shaki is not a wine... Or a liquor. It is made like a beer is made. Yeah, it ha it's, it's in its own. Well, look, we had to Google this shit to find it because uh, we went in. It's, it's in its we own. We went in there and it's crazy. I can't smell it. Like water, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. that's amazing. <laughs> what were you reading? You're fucking going to spill it. Give it here. <laughs> he said, hold on, we took the bottom. <laughs> Jesus. But yeah, we had to Google to figure out where, where we would even find it because uh, we found out that it is its own category Saki of beverage. Is, is it's not a wine, it's not a own. liquor, it's not a beer, it's, 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 it's a fucking free beverage, I guess. Who knows? <laughs> what, <laughs> what the fuck? That tastes like nothing. Yeah, what, what is it? it, 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 it like exactly, wine. that's like, the, that's it. What is it? The fuck is it? What is it? Tastes it's, like it's some, sake. Like what is it? Maybe cactus water. Cactus water. Cactus water. You got cactuses over there, bud. I don't know. It's a, you got a little bit of a like something on the back of your tongue. Like, it, it's, it's, like, it, I think it's made. I, I'm not totally sure, but it, it, they made. I don't. I don't. I don't. Uh, rice, I guess you know. Like I don't. I don't. I don't advise it. Rice straight. Like, yeah, it's I think just, it, uh, they, they make it. It's. It's go, it, it, I think it goes through the same process like it, when they make beer. Like yeah. they make a beer. That's what it says. Rice isn't like they don't have enough sugar to make like good alcohol content. So they gotta do something. All right, so we got some sake bombs set up here. We got some sake in a little mini glass, and we got some Sapporo. Sapporo premium beer. Premium beer in the bottom here. So uh, we're about to do a sake bomb, and if you guys have never done it before or seen it before, you're about to experience it, and it's uh, kind of cool. You kind of get to do it at the Japanese restaurants, steakhouses, where, you know, you get your shit cooked on the grill, and it's yeah. really cool, and they do the volcano stuff. So, uh, we're going to get this shit going and show you guys how to do it here. We're going to get the, uh, the producers in the background in on this, and we're going to get the sake bomb going. You ready, Tommy? I'm ready. All right. So, we're going to say, we say sake, you say bomb. Sake. Sake. Woo! <laughs> Saki, Saki, you say bomb. Saki, bomb. Saki, bomb. Saki, bomb. Yeah. <laughs> We're all terrible at timing on all of this, but it worked, and that is all that matters. Actual homemade yeah. Saki bombs, homemade-ish Saki bombs, home That's done Saki bombs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I felt it. <laughs> really good. It is really good. The review of the Taki Bomb. Really good. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? I like it pretty well, actually. Really I like good. it better than the straight. Yeah, the, the better than the straight sake, I think. The, the straight so the beer. Yeah, the Saki Bomb is actually it's pretty good, mm -hmm. and obviously it'll be fun going somewhere and doing it. You know, like, hey, guys, yeah, you, you get better timing than us. Yeah, you, we didn't have. We were terrible. Yeah, you got to hit so. up a nice Japanese steakhouse. To, you know, Again, bomb, check it out. Japanese I think I think this was. Uh, oh, I, think, yeah, I think I think the uh, uh, Shochiko buy. <laughs> uh, hopefully, I'm saying that right. Saki is uh, nine bucks, nine ninety nine. Nine. Kroger's, it was Kroger's. like eight ninety nine, so nine. I was gonna say, say ten after tax. Really good, tasty. Not uh, so tasty and good uh, straight. I don't advise that. Um, but if you're desperate, you know. I mean, you I believe it was hot though. Like probably. Be yeah, probably the, like sake, yeah, you can either sweeter. drink like room temperature or like uh, they serve it. They put it in hot water. We are in the spirit of um, 80s martial arts films. We are breaking board. Have you seen Kickboxer or Bloodsport? And the Bloodsport, they did the Denmark, where he's like he had to get into the kumite by showing the family death touch. So in spirit of that, we're gonna break the fuck out of these boys. Or I believe Karate Kid Three, right? Was Ice? Was it Miyagi Karate, Kid 3? Karate chopped the fucking beer bottles off the car. <laughs> so basically, the board looks very flimsy, and you might not think that you know it, it'd be very hard, but believe it or not, depending on how you hit this, because of the flex, it might not even break. So Tell me when. Do it. Ready? Come on, Karate guy. Come on, karate guy. <laughs> Pretty good, not a bad, not a bad little break. All right, so board number one was a success. Tommy passed the test. Hey man, you're up next. Pressure's on you, bud. All right. So, uh, Mister, 
Tom, Tommy Boy succeeded on the first board here. He passed the test. Ant Man's up next, and then Mr. Cameron Montgomery over there will follow suit. Yep. So, yeah, right there. Ready? So either you're going to break the board or you're going to break your knuckles. Yes. Yeah. You got to twist the rest, too. All right, ready? Ready? Yep. <laughs> oh, I didn't completely break it. It's, break. A, it's okay, bro. Yeah. It's broken. It's broke. There ain't no completely breaking it anyways. It's it's done. You succeeded in breaking it, and that's all that matters. <laughs> Tell me, were you nervous? No. No, you weren't afraid. No. No. You look. Uh, you look like you're a little nervous. A little <laughs> like, like I don't know. I did what I was supposed to. Oh. oh. Yeah, it is. <laughs> what, now, now, did it, did it, did it hurt at all? Uh, well, fucking shit too. <laughs> Hold it still. Huh? Yeah. Ugh. Cobra cap and life. Cobra cap and life. Ah! Oh, damn. It cracked. It cracked. I heard it. <laughs> you guys are holding it. Look at him. I am holding it. <laughs> You're not holding it. You play me with me. Ah, <laughs> no. a little bit. You guys gotta hold it closer. <laughs> <laughs> so it's still never broke through. Tommy had the best break of the night. Tommy, <laughs> the best break of the night. What I say, breast this breast. So, again, perfect example that this shit's not as easy as you would think, especially if there's fucking idiots holding it for you. I gotta do one, too, because you guys can't hold the goddamn board right. Uh, he fought flimsy boards. <laughs> it bounces back, man. I can't hear It's hard. Like a karate chop. You got a karate chop. Yeah, break you got a karate like chop, this shit. <laughs> karate chop or nothing. Oh. Miyagi-Do. Just don't hit the stool, because you're going to fucking break your hand if you do. <laughs> <laughs> now he's thinking about it. <laughs> don't think too much. <laughs> don't think too hard. Just hit the stool. Just a piece Just of wood. Floor, bud. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. Break it. That's a beer bong. <laughs> That's a beer bong, buddy. <laughs> he got it. Watch the stool behind you. You don't want to fucking hit your hand on that when you break through it. You're holding a fucking beer bong. Here we go. I'm going to do another one after this. Go. There you go. Yeah. That's uh, a last snap. Yeah, that'll count. We'll count it. I'll, I'll take that bet. Oh, yeah, but that's the rule. If you don't break it on the first one. try, you got to do two back to back. All right, what happens? This if is it, your redemption. What shot. happens if it comes off in there? No, it doesn't matter. Straight through. Follow. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Follow through. Oh, Focus. Power through. Believe it or not, a long time ago, I received some like, karate training. Long, long ago. All the way through. All the way through that board. All the way through. All the way through that board. Ah! Woo! 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 Clean break. Nice little yeah. clean break on that one. It's probably, you know, out of the three so far, it's probably the cleanest. Yeah. Good job. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the original karate the chop then. I'm gonna do the yeah, hold, hold him down like this. Yeah. I'm gonna you do the yeah, that'll work. In your face I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the karate chop. All right. You guys did your knuckles and hands. I think you followed through with karate. Karate chop, baby. Karate yeah. chop. <laughs> All right, ready? Could be. Oh. Oh. It counts. Yep. And then break through, so out of the four, mine's the worst. But. So uh we probably ought to use a little less flexi board yes. for the you know future references. Tommy boy's gonna try to break two two boards here. Mm -hmm. Real you don't hurt your hand doing that. No. Oh! Uh, 
don't think he snapped him. He didn't snap nothing. Nope, they said right You hurt your hand, didn't you? No. Uh, <laughs> you sure? He ripped the chair, though. He ripped the chair. He did. He ripped the chair. Nothing broke, Tommy. Fucking. All right, one more try, man. Now, again, if you don't break it, you already owe us one beer ball. Yes. So if you're going to do it again and you break nothing, we won't punish you. If it's a beer ball, I'm going to shot. It's for all the kids who've been bullied right here. One beer ball. I don't know whether I'm doing with my hand or my fucking elbow. I feel like either, 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 either of them. Do it, this, do it this way, like you was going to with your palm. Palm it. Fucking karate. Yeah. Mm. Nope. Damn, I got it. You're going to shot. That fucking flicked up on me. Yeah. You're going to shot, but I'm not even going to try that. I'm going to try it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God, he hit me. He hit me. Oh, oh, I didn't see you. I bounced off. Yeah, it. whatever you did, bro. That, that, that didn't sound like it was easy. He just got power through it. Yeah. That might actually work. That's the only way it's going to work. Yeah. Yeah. Not the one that slides there. Oh, he got it! He got one! Oh, he, got him. He, got him. There you go. he got them both! Look! Fuck yeah! The chop! Ant <laughs> Man with the yeah. chop, man! <laughs> Look, I thought I was going to be good at this because I've been playing Mortal Kombat 11 a lot, but you know, like, <laughs> I'm not obviously good at breaking shit. Again, check out uh, the uh, North High. Filthy uh, really McNasty. Filthy McNasty. McNasty. Check that out. We're going to do some beer bongs. And then we're going to meet up over here on the shuffleboard a little later so uh, Miss Producer back here, Natasha, can get her ass kicked at it. So we're all going to do one loop for the way out of here. Y'all made me look like a bitch. Can't hold the board right. So we're not really pussies. It's just the fact that we're fucking, you know, highly unprepared for a lot of the stuff that we do. But we wanted to be karate kids tonight, so, you know, Team Cobra Kai over here. <laughs> ah, he breaks it. Suck it. Suck oh. on that. All right, so. I want to fucking explode it. You got to hang out with us again for another night of beer reviews, sake reviews, weird reviews. <laughs> and you got to see some board breaking, some karate action. Not the coolest, but. Kinda cool. It was fun for all of us. I swear I'm not that big of a bitch. They just made me look bad. <laughs> <laughs> Can't hold a fucking board right. He couldn't fucking break a ball, sir. <laughs> With that being said, man, check out the uh, filthy McNasties. Check out some sake with some some Sapporo beers. And uh, if you ever want to break some boards, get some boards that are just as just as thick or thin from your local Home Depot. With a little less give. You don't want so much flexibility because it does actually hurt more trying to break shit like that than yes. it does actual shit. I feel like I could have broken a fucking two by four a lot easier. Yeah. Yeah. You can make a <laughs> yeah. um, I feel like yeah, I feel like I definitely could have broken two by four a lot easier than what that two fucking shit was. Man, those are thick. No, they're only two inches thick, bud. Yeah. What are you talking about? I'm trying to break the like <laughs> But with that being said, uh, Tommy kind of disappeared to go take a piss. So I guess we'll kind of wait for him to come back before we do our, you know, outro to chugging. All right, again, so thanks for joining us. Uh, you got to see the quick little beer review that we had. Uh, you got to see us uh, acting like stupid idiot kids trying to break boards, which is actually kind of fun. It's, it's fun. It, it brings us back to our childhood and doing Karate Kid. Plus, who, did, who doesn't like this Just movies? getting to be kids for it's 20 fun. minutes. It's fun to break things. So. So, Absolutely. It, if you're going to do it, get the proper boards to do so, because yes. what we used tonight wasn't the proper They're shit. not proper and, you know, breaking boards. No, but it worked, and we got to manage. We managed to have, make it happen. So, again, thanks for joining us. Uh, check out the last video if you haven't done it. Mr. Cameron Montgomery is our special guest tonight. You'll see more of him later on, and you actually get to see some of his talent. And if you want a little sample, a little sneak peek on what he is, check out his YouTube channel, which is Cameron Montgomery. If you can't spell that, then Google it. <laughs> so again, thanks for joining us. Uh, tonight we're going to end this video with a, a, a annual chug to our 35 subscribers. 35 subscribers. 35 subscribers. A, we're going to try to get a little better with chug our... our uh, <laughs> I thought about it. With everything that we're doing, we're going to try to progress keep going from here. So You're again, you know, thanks for joining us. I hope you guys are having a happy, safe, and unsober weekend. And if you are unsober... There's nothing left in there. Nothing left in there. Let's go. Um,
PBR. There you go. So, alright, so let's begin to another episode of the Cruise Reviews. Fucking <laughs> knuckles. Damn. See you guys next time.